Britain is a key member of the EU's agricultural community. Post-Brexit, countries which have been exporting food to the UK under EU law could face tariffs. Ireland, which exports beef and cheese to the UK, may look to its next nearest EU member, France, but the countries are competitors as well as allies. And French farmers are worried Irish farmers could undercut their prices. Spain exports around $4.5 billion worth of produce to the UK. It provides 80% of its fresh fruit and vegetables. Almost a third of all Spanish broccoli, cauliflower and cabbages come to Britain, as well as many citrus fruits. Even if this cycle of trade was to continue, World Trade Organization rules would force the UK to conduct time-consuming border checks, possibly shortening shelf life and pushing up prices because of tariffs. Britain's National Farmers Union predicts that if the UK began the year only eating homegrown food, the UK would go hungry by August. Another consideration is European crop workers. The UK had tens of thousands of fewer pickers because of travel restrictions during the pandemic. Prince Charles was amongst those calling for people to go into the fields and pick for Britain. And then there's America. British MPs rejected protecting farmers from lower standard food imports, leaving the door wide open for a trade deal with the US. After the pandemic and Brexit, self-sufficiency in the UK is likely to be far more appealing.